I saw a quick post on the internet today that uh, seemed to be mocking Dwight Howard because there was a report that he was using 19-foot jump shots uh, to try and improve his uh, free throw shooting. Now, I have no idea what he's doing for his practice or what that really means, but if he's using 19-foot shots as part of his free throw practice, there is some evidence and some reasons for doing that. Uh, if he's only shooting 19-foot jump shots, uh, you know, then uh, the reasoning becomes somewhat suspect. But to use variable practice for free throw shooting um, should have positive benefits in terms of transfer to practice. So variable practice would mean rather than only shooting free throws from, you know, 15 feet right on the free throw line, uh, you shoot shots from in front of the line and behind the line. Um, I tend to use this as my form shooting practice. Um, and I don't do a ton of extra free throw shooting practice uh, because our form shooting kind of incorporates this idea of variable shooting and we move from you know somewhere around 9 to 12 feet from the basket and then we move back usually to about 18 feet. We try to go about you know one yard or three feet um, for each set of shots and so we get variable uh, practice. Um, variable practice has been shown to transfer better to uh, you know, different situations, i.e. a game, uh, more so than constant block practice, which would be shooting only free throws for 10 repetitions or 100 repetitions or however many free throws you're going to shoot. Um, you know, I mean, this is, has been shown back to studies in the 80s and 90s um, done by Richard Smith um, in various disciplines, um, not just, you know, shooting. Um, so, Again, if the post was kind of mocking him because it's absurd not to shoot free throws to improve free throw shooting, then I think that uh, stance is off base and misguided and, and not related to the research um, in motor learning. Um, if it's mocking him because he's only shooting 19 foot jump shots, well, um, you know, it's a matter of opinion whether shooting 19 foot jump shots is going to improve your free throw percentages more than shooting, you know, 15 foot shots. You know, that's uh, you know, a silly argument, I think. Um, but, you know, again, if he's shooting 19 foot at the end of a progression where he's, you know, using variable practice and he's shooting some shots closer to the basket, some from the free throw line, and then some moving further back, um, I think that's a valid approach to improve free throw shooting and to improve the for free throw shooting as opposed to only shooting free throws.